Okay, so uh, today I wanted to talk about um, an issue that I've heard a lot of engineers actually talk about. Uh, and uh, it's, it seems like a really basic idea, but the concept of when you're recording, particularly, or playing live, it's, it's really important to keep your, your stroke and your velocity consistent between your snare and your kick drum. And uh, why is that? I mean, I guess you can sort of look at uh, music as a piece of clothing, say a coat, and uh, the drums are sort of like the coat hanger that that, that, that coat hangs on. And the coat hanger is sort of like lopsided, where the, the kick is kind of going in and out of intensity. Uh, something is, you know, in, in fact, the listeners may not actually know what the issue is, but it just makes everything sound unstable in uh, the snare drum as well. If the snare drum is in and out of uh, velocity levels. Now, there's certain you know, genres of music, for example, jazz, where of course you're going to have a lot of different velocity levels. But in general, like pop music, rock music, it's a real important and basic concept to have strong, consistent uh, strokes and velocity on, on your drums. So here's like maybe perhaps a groove uh, that uh, you have a cross stick uh, where I'm going to play it first kind of inconsistently and then more solidly like I would, I would hopefully want to play it, you know. Now, as opposed to something a little more solid. See the obvious, obvious difference? I'm exaggerating. But uh, let's try something maybe with a snare drum and, and kick drum. One of the things is like a lot of drummers uh, will go back and forth from keeping the beater on the kick drum and, and pulling it off, which generally probably should stay on one side or the other. <laughs> Now, more solid. So it's almost like you can just rest easier and it seems like the music would set easier and nicer on a structure, like I said, the coat hanger example. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, there, there is, then there's the opposite extreme, what we're just talking about, is where there's no dynamic variation. And uh, it's so incredibly consistent, it becomes boring, you know. Which, I mean, actually, you know, in some instances, it might be a cool effect to do that. You know, I've, I've actually done that before, where you want to be as machine-like as possible. But generally, it doesn't groove quite as hard as if you start varying. Maybe the, the lead kick drum beat going into the downbeats are a little bit softer and propels the next beat forward. So it sounds like... And also, obviously, accenting the, the, the hi-hat patterns. <laughs> 